There's a great amount of pressure on the egress systems journeymen because when disaster strikes, the pilot depends on them. These airmen work on ejection seats, which are devices used to rescue pilots when all else fails. Once pilots pull the ejection handle, a series of explosives lift the top enclosure and ejects the seat almost simultaneously. Once the sequence starts and the line starts to burn, it's just boom, 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 one right after the other. So the pilot will be out of the jet and floating down on his parachute in almost three seconds. Journeymen must have an exceptionally meticulous nature. Any negligent move on their part could mean disaster for the pilot. What makes egress so critically important is that we can't test fire any of our components. When we install a scene canopy back onto the jet, we're pretty much telling that pilot, you know, you're coming home alive. At my last base, we actually had an incident where one of our jets went down. Uh, the pilot lost communications in the sky. Uh, the jet went down and the pilot was able to eject safely. Uh, that jet we actually had in the shop. To just know the seat I touched, I worked on it, I did inspections. It saves someone's life, makes all of it worth it. The perfection of ejection is one verification these journeymen assure more than anything. From Kunsan Air Base, I'm Army Sergeant Julie Yeager.